I have a question for you. When Clarissa walks down the aisle, are you going to stand up and say, don't do it, Clarissa? I'm your husband. I'm Baxter McCandless. You're making some mighty big uh, assumptions, Senator. Am I? No, I don't think so. As a matter of fact, I'm disappointed I didn't figure it out soon. The two planes crashed in identically the same spot in the world? The same day, ten years ago? And two men, two men, down at sea. Two men who both love the same woman. Well, you're running on circumstantial fuel, Senator, and you're running out of it. No. It was the photo, you know, of your yacht in Colombe that, that clinched it. The Clarissa. Oh, come on, the ship came with that name. Not according to this. You had that ship built in 1980. And you're the one that had it christened Clarissa. No. You're Baxter McCandless, all right. And so, Baxter... We are left with one question, aren't we? Are you going to tell Clarissa? Or am I? reminded me of how little I know about Jared Morgan. Do you ever want to get to know him better? I tried like crazy. I mean, he always shut himself off. Every time I'd ask him a question, he'd answer with a yes or a no. He, he could be very infuriating. Maybe you just didn't have enough time to get to know him better to open him up. Thomas, what is it that you're saying? I mean, what is there here to know? What is it? Pearls would be absolutely perfect, dear. And honey, you've got to change that red nail polish. Red is not appropriate for a wedding. Thank you very much. Oh, and I took a little peek at your dress. Sebastian does have a way about him, doesn't he? But of course, you look lovely in everything. Oh, did you ever see such a lovely sunny day in November? Lovely day for a wedding. Mother, uh, forgive me if I'm wrong, but wasn't it just yesterday you swore this wedding would never take place? You're raging all over here. Oh, that, that was because I wasn't invited. I'm all over that now. Are you? Of course. 
Tell me, uh, have you seen the beautiful bride today? Yes, <clears throat> I stopped by to see her this morning. Oh, really? And uh, what kind of a, a mood was she in? Oh, a mood? I don't know, Mother. She was um, excited and maybe a little tense. Tense? Why? Why? Mother, it's her wedding day. Brides do get a little nervous, you know. Oh, really? I wasn't. Of course, I was deeply in love, and I was absolutely ecstatic to be marrying your father. Mother, I was. I'll always love Mark. Mother, I really hope that you're, you're not planning to do anything crazy, like show up at the wedding. Oh, I'm not going, going anywhere near that church. Now, as a matter of fact, I'm having lunch with Josh Harrington today. <sighs> the whole thing's gotten out of hand, Vincent. If they're supposed to stop this investigation, it's going to work. Slow, slow, slow down a minute, Senator. Slow down. Now tell me what's going on. Charity Blake, that's what. Marius' old girlfriend paid me a visit a little earlier. And implied that I was involved, maybe even responsible, for Marius' death. She sounded like she knew what she was talking about. You bet she did. I wonder where she got hold of info like that. That's exactly what I'd like to know. Okay, okay, I'll check it out. Don't just check it, Vincent. Get me answers. I, I will, Senator. Now, uh, don't you want to know why I called? The guy we've had tailing Jarrett Morgan just checked in. Does he have anything? Maybe. It seems that Morgan is over at the Lincoln Club right now, talking to Senator Denning in his room. Uh, do we know what he's doing there? No. But since Morgan's the one that's been feeding information to McCandless, I thought maybe you could wander past the good senator's room and uh, see if you can get a line on what's going on before it's too late. Always were a very persistent man, Mark. And you haven't changed. My God. My God, Baxter. I honestly hoped you would never find out. But it doesn't matter, Mark. Nothing's changed. What do you mean it doesn't matter? I'm about to marry your wife. And you will. Why didn't you tell her? You've been here for months. I mean, she was working with you. She cares for you. But she's in love with you, Mark. She's waiting for you at the church right now. Mark, so why didn't you tell us? You, you were my friend. I, I, I thought I knew you. Look at me, Mark. Look at me. I'm not the same man that I was. I was as close to death as you can get and still come back. And that took years. They rebuilt my face, my body, my voice. Oh, Clarissa, sir. I mean, your family. Now, hear me out. You can't judge me for this, Mark. No one can. Who hasn't lived through it? The man that emerged from that wreck of a body wasn't Baxter McCandless anymore. It was Jarrett Morgan. Baxter was dead. Buried in St. Paul's churchyard. Mourned by his oh, family. You have no idea how your family mourned for you, how they suffered the grief. But they got over that grief eventually, and they went on with their lives. And you helped them, Mark. I'm grateful to you for that. I'm very grateful. Mark, please. Please try to understand this. I couldn't come back like some uh, long lost, forgotten ghost. I would have destroyed everything, all over again. Why did you come back? For a lot of reasons. Not all of them unselfish. When Zed told me about this uh, doctor who might be able to help me, I was interested. But when he told me that this doctor was also my son, well, I just couldn't keep myself from seeing him. It's incredible, isn't it? Thomas should be the one to make me walk again. Oh, incredible. Yeah, and, and, and as a thank you, you're just gonna leave without telling him who you are? Yes. Well, you can't do it. You cannot do that. They have a right to know. If you don't tell him, I'm gonna tell him. No! It's 
not your decision, Mark. It's mine, and I'm not changing it. I should have been on that plane to Colum Bay last night. And Why weren't you? Because the airport was fogged in. Is that the only reason? What do you mean? Clarissa came to see you last night, didn't she? Yes. To say goodbye. She has some very strong feelings for you. We've been friends, that's all. You love her, don't you? You're still in love with her, aren't you, Maxie? What I feel or don't feel isn't important. It is important. It is important to me. But it shouldn't be. Let this go, Mark, please. You're marrying Clarissa today. You'll make her happy. I'm dead to her. Let me stay that way. But you're not dead, you see. You're here. You're alive. Do you think knowing that? Do you think I could really let this wedding take place? change, you know that? Be still. Oh, Ma, I just hate it when you fuss. Sounds familiar. <laughs> this way, please. <sighs> that about it? No, wait. I want one more. With all my men around me. <laughs> all right, everybody. Smile. Well, I have to see Reverend Steger before we get this show on the road, so if you'll excuse me. And <laughs> you now I, I know that I'm prejudiced, but you're the most beautiful bride I've ever seen, Clarissa. Oh, wait a second, Brendan. I'll go with you. Well, could you wait a minute? I'd like to talk to just the three of you before all this gets started, okay? I'll see you later, Mrs. McCandless. Right. Well... I guess that's the last time anyone will call me Mrs. McCandless. Um, today is a very important day for me. It's a wonderful day, but it must feel rather strange to the three of you. Uh, we're very happy, Mom. All of us. I know that. Thank you, but there is something that I'd like to say to all of you. Today I'm changing my name, my life. But nothing will ever change the way I feel about you. I will always love you, treasure you, worry about you, fuss about you. Oh, Wally. Wally, I'm so proud of you. I know I haven't said that often enough. And I... I know how hard this has been for you. I... I know how much you've missed your father since he died. And I think you've been hurt more than... more than anyone. You and I have argued a lot about some of the choices that you've made in your life. But I know one thing for sure. And that is that you've never made one of those choices without... it being from honor, and love, I love you so much. I love you too, Ma. And I'm going to look forward to your wedding day. Very soon. And Tyler. I knew you were going to grow up to be just like your father. Even when you were a little boy, I... I knew you were going to grow up and feel his footsteps. Be the idealist and... Always fighting for the underdog. And your... Your determination frightened me sometimes, but I never doubted that you could do it. I'm really so proud of you. Be happy, Mom. You and Mark deserve it. And you. Oh. My firstborn. So stubborn. 
so strong, so wise, and oh, so brave. You were a constant joy to your father and me. No, I just pray that you're going to find someone who is worthy of that incredible love that you have inside, that you have to give. Now, you know, your father was, was a wonderful man. He was a great man. And he loved you boys very, very much. And I know that... I know that Mark will never presume to be your father. But I want you to take him into our family. Because I love Mark very, very much. And he wants more than anything just to be a part of your lives. Our lives. We will, Mom. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna go okay. check on the guests. They're probably coming in now. Hang on a minute while I'll go with you. Bye. Yeah. she must be feeling. She was worried about us. She wanted us, the boys, to know that even though she was going to be Mrs. Mark Denning, that nothing was going to change, that she still loved us. I know this isn't easy for you, is it? No. I keep trying not to think about my dad. I can't help it. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. You loved your dad. Yeah, but it's my mom's wedding day. And we are going to celebrate. Come on, honey, you're not being disloyal. In fact, you have been wonderful, and I'm proud of you, because I know what you must be going through. Mark is a great guy. I know. And he makes my mom happy, and that's what counts. But Brenda, he can't replace my dad. Nobody could. Sloan. Hi, Tyler. Yeah, you look terrific. Thank you very much. Is Clarissa here yet? Yeah, she's in the bride's room. Okay. Oh, and my father? Good Lord, I was supposed to pick him up five minutes ago. Well, go get him. Don't be a fool, Mark. Clarissa wants to marry you. After today, you'll never hear from me again. Now, wait a minute. Let me just tell you something. A marriage, a good marriage, is based on love, on truth, on honesty. How can you expect me to marry Clarissa without telling her the truth? Oh, Danny. Uh, oh, yes, Senator. So what can I do for you? You uh, know if... Uh, Senator Denning still in his room? I was going to wish the groom my good wishes. Oh, yes, uh, I think so, Senator. I haven't seen him leave yet. Thank you. You can't do it because the truth is too dangerous. For me and anyone close to me. Dangerous? How? There are some uh, people who consider me a threat. That's why someone tried to kill you at the hospital. Yes. And I've got good reason to believe they'll try again. Or try to get at me through my family. You're talking about Josh Harrington. Yes. A very dangerous man, Mark. Larissa still has the right to know the truth. You tell her and you'll jeopardize her life. Now, I'm warning you, Mark. Don't do it. I will do it. You've left me no choice. Are these tears pre-wedding jitters, or are they something else? I went to see Jarrett last night at the airport before he left. I don't know why, but I had to see him again before he left. I just had to. Why? I don't know. You don't have any 
had second thoughts about the marriage, right? No. None. I... I meant what I said before. I love Mark. He's always been there for me. First as a friend and... and as a wonderful man who I grew to love very deeply. Thomas, we've gone through so much to get to this day. What? No buts. No reservations. You don't have any doubts? No. None. It was hard to say goodbye to Jared. He loves me. I know. I told you that if you remember, Mom. Mom. Thomas, Jared is gone. He's gone back to Colin Bay. He's gone out of my life forever. Where to? You know where St. Paul's Church is? Sure, that's where that big wedding is today, Senator Denny. I want you to take me there, and hurry. Mark? Mark. Oh, my God. Mark. 